So today we're going fly fishing for rainbow trout in the Llano River. And they're not a native species here in Texas, but the Texas Parks and Wildlife have released some around here. And you can check out their website to see if there's any rainbow trout in your in the waters around you. And they're really fun to catch on the fly rod, but you can also spin fish for them. So I thought I'd show you some trout flies that I use in Colorado and ones that I use here in the hill country. So in Colorado, I like, for as far as nymphs, I like a, pres uh, a prince nymph, a hare's ear, pheasant tail, and a copper john. Those are just some basic nymphs that work really well for trout. And then, but around here, and the trout are released so they're more than likely they're farm raised and they can't really recognize what a nymph is so they're they're more likely going to hit something like this some bigger streamers like a, a minnow streamer a woolly bugger and then this is a dina i made a video on how to tie this fly and th that's what i caught the trout on today and the streamers opposed to the nymphs are it's a more bulky profile and 
they all have more movement as opposed to the nymph or it's just the looks of a nymph and all these streamers have some sort of flash in them this is a mink tail minnow and its body is basically flash and then a woolly bugger it's got a nice big bead head some flash on the tail and then the Dina has got some flash across its back and I really think that flash helps a lot especially in moving water because the ripples and will hit it hit the flash and it looks really nice in the water thanks for watching my video and remember cast with a purpose